So a lot of you guys have probably seen this clip before. And it's a clip where I do 1 million crit there, as you can see on the screen. Bam, 1 million. And a lot of you guys were real confused like how I did that. And there you have another good example. So I thought I would just go through really quick how to do that. So let's just uh, check through the Predator Mark uh, set bonuses first. And it will be easier to explain. So 2 piece reload speed. 3 piece assault rifle damage and SMG damage. 4 piece is the Predator's Mark. The bleed hit 10 shots without switching target to make the target bleed for 50% of the damage already done by those bullets, right? Then with 5 piece more damage and reload speed. And the 6 piece which makes the bleed super strong as long as you have 9,000 stam, right? The easiest way to do this is to have another friend and just let him leave the party. It's super, super <laughs> cheesy, but that's the easiest way to achieve this. So, so just shoot uh, your friend nine times in the head. And when you shot nine shots with the sniper, you can just swap to house. And I had vicious on mine just to have as much quick chance as possible. And then you make sure that you have shrapnel equipped. Applying bleed to any target triggers a 30% chance for each target in 10 meter radius. And then you just uh, go rogue. And you let your friend just rush into a lot of people. And you just hit your friend once and that will trigger the bleed. Because that's the 10th shot. So you just make sure that you don't miss that shot. You need to hit the 10th shot on your friend. Otherwise you fuck up the bleed right. And you just pray to RNGs that uh, shrapnel is gonna hit. And if it hits you can get some pretty funny scenarios. <laughs> However, this is quite hard to, to do and it will take some time and RNG. So, I mean, I wouldn't suggest anyone to really do this. But, I mean, if you want to have some fun, you can do it. But, but, yeah, I just wanted to explain that first because I had a lot of people asking. And, yeah, sadly, I delayed the video quite a lot. But I thought it was a good time to explain that now when I'm doing a Predator's Mark build video. So, yeah. So, with that explained, let's just uh, dive into the build video. So 6 piece Predator, pretty straightforward build as well, I mean 1.8 or 1 1.3, like since 1.8 with classified it's been pretty straightforward how to build them. But there's still some uh, major and minor attributes that I I'm gonna go through. So first of all my set is not min max yet, I'm gonna farm some div tech and min max it. But uh, the important thing here is just the stats, right? So all my pieces is gonna have a stam roll as a major. And the reason why I have a stam as a main role on all my pieces is because I want to reach 9000 stam if I'm playing skirmish and last stand. I'm mainly gonna play Darkson with this if I play it, but I mean, just for you guys, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want to try this in last stand and skirmish, so yeah, just stam on every piece. And if I want to go into last stand or skirmish, I just swap some firearm gamers for stam. I'm pretty sure you guys can do the math. And then you can't use your normal weapon talents. But there are two talents that you can actually use. Not the best talents, but I mean at least some talents on your gun, right? And those are sustained and self-preserved. And actually right now, if you go to Dark Zone 3, as you can see here, you can find a God Roll LVA. Sustained and self-preserved, and the free slot is free, right? So that's really good. For the first slot, I would either go Vicious or Competent, right? And same thing goes with House as well. You just go Sustained and Self-Preserved. If you don't have those talents, I mean it's... It's not a big loss if you don't have any talent at all when it comes to skirmish and last stand. But when it comes to, to normal darks on PvP, that's where I'm gonna use it the most. I'm gonna be using Vicious Deadly Competent for my M4. For closer combat, I'm gonna use Unforgiving Deadly. If you check the weapon mods, there's nothing new here. Crit damage, major with crit chance and headshot damage as a minor. Same with the muscle. Grip with crit damage. Optimal range, reload speed. I don't really think that stability is doing anything, but that's what I have equipped. With the magazine, critted damage and rate of fire, you don't need a crit chance on the mag because you're already gonna have 48%, I believe, crit chance. Or somewhere around there, so with precision or a pulse, you will be at the cap anyway. That's why I choose to go crit damage. LVA, same thing here, crit damage major. And extend a mag with critical hit chance, right? And rate of fire. So back to the, the gear pieces. So stam everywhere as I just said. Health, exotic damage, resilience on the chest. All the gear mods with critical hit chance. 
mask with crit chance burn resistance. I mean, I've been thinking a bit maybe go EDR, but the thing with Pred is that you have over 9,000 stamp. So you may do fine without the EDR. And I mean, it depends. I mean, you, you want some more survivability and you're playing against a lot of Preds and you, you're getting bleeded all the time. Yeah, maybe consider to get the EDR. If you don't feel like that's a problem, keep the crit chance. Burn rest and firearms crit chance here as well. The knee pads, stam roll again, critical hit damage. Since the uh, crit is so strong with Pred, I choose to go critical hit damage here. Bleed, shock, increased kill experience. My top minor here would be shock, burn, and disrupt. Bleed is really nice, but at the same time, I feel like most of the time I cleanse it anyway, so yeah. But you could go like bleed instead of disrupt. I mean, personal preference. Stam mode with the pulse critical hit chance mode as well. Backpack with critical hit damage as well. Disrupt resistance. You could go bleed resistance there. Firearms critical hit chance, pulse critical hit chance. Crit chance is good guys, okay. <laughs> So the gloves here, assault rifle damage, crit chance, crit damage. If you're gonna main house, then go SMG damage instead of AR damage. Don't go assault rifle damage and SMG damage on the same glove because you're gonna lose crit damage or crit chance. So make sure to have two gloves, maybe one with AR and one with SMG damage, right? Because you don't want to lose out on that crit. And I think most people using house almost 100% anyway, so yeah. I like AR. Holster, crit chance as well. There's nothing else that's really good there, I would say. Like you have health and skill ace, but I mean, crit chance is definitely the way. Pulse critical hit chance on the gear mod as well. Didn't go through the double barrel, but I mean, if you've seen my videos before, you should be aware of this. Determined destructive predatory. Would like sustain instead of destructive. Have a low gear score pistol as well with determined and cool edit to get my ult back. It would be smarter to craft a blue one, but I haven't done that, so yeah. Let's uh, check the crit chance and crit damage and all the stats here. So 37% crit chance with the Vicious on my LVA. 132 critical hit damage. A little bit more than usual because we go crit damage on backpack and knee pads. Nothing else too special here. I mean, we got reload speed because of Pred. Soul profit damage because of Pred as well, it's pretty high. 400,000 HP. My build is not min max yet as well, so I mean, it could have some fatter stats, but just going for the main stats here, right? Let's check the house as well. Crit chance 47%. I feel like I'm 1% crit chance off than usual though. Probably have to check that later. Probably a gear mod or something. But 47%, so you're gonna get 60% uh, with uh, precision, or a few pulse, 145% crit damage. Uh, yeah. If we check the skills, support station against uh, mainly predator. So, so skills, support station, immunizer, used to be able to, to cleanse yourself and. It's still a percentage heal, so if you can keep your station up, put it smart, and you keep yourself from getting bleeded, and you pop it after 8-10 seconds, or I mean, even 5 seconds, but the 10 is optimal, of course, and you get a fat heal as well, especially since you have 9,000 stam. Using a scramble pulse as well. I mean, if you're playing group and somebody else have a pulse, you could run booster shot, or if you for some reason want to do booster shot you can do that but I definitely recommend scrambler scrambler is a must looking at talents critical save on the move as always strike back as well <clears throat> you could swap uh, strike back for adrenaline if you feel like you need more immunity especially against uh, all the preds right now I'm playing shrapnel as well <laughs> To be honest, I haven't played that that much uh, Predator, but I'm pretty sure that Shrapnel can get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, efficiency, especially the way I like to play in the Dark Zone when I play by myself. But maybe I could even swap out Shrapnel. We will see though. 
I think that can be pretty fun for some <laughs> solo darkson though. But yeah, that should be it guys. It's my second video in like two days. Uh, that's a build video. I still have more builds I do want to release uh, now with 1.8.3. So a few builds I haven't done that's classified since 1.8. And I feel like in 1.8.3, a lot of more builds are actually worth to, to play with. So yeah, if you guys are interested in more builds and the way I, I think they could be viable with, just uh, stay tuned on the channel. I don't have a gameplay of this yet, but I will stream. I think when this video is up, I'm not sure if I get it up today, but most likely when this video is up, you will see me streaming and I probably will play this then. So yeah, if you're interested in gameplay, come and watch the stream. Hope you guys enjoy and have a nice day. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do like my content and want to support financially, you can check out my Patreon. And if that's not enough, you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids. Have a nice day.